For years, astronomers have puzzled over a strange gamma ray glow coming from the Milky Way's center, a mystery known as the galactic center excess. Some scientists think it's the combined radiation of countless hidden millisecond pulsars, while others believe it could be evidence of dark matter annihilation. Now, new simulations from the Leibniz Institute for Astrophysics Potsdam suggest our galaxy's dark heart might not be spherical as once assumed, but box-shaped. That change in shape could mean dark matter is still on the table. In this video, we'll break down what this discovery means. Let's get started. In 2009, NASA's Fermi Gamma Ray Space Telescope revealed an unexpected concentration of high-energy gamma rays at the Milky Way's core. The region emitted far more light than models predicted. Light not explained by supernovae, black holes, or any known sources. This unexplained emission became known as the Galactic Center Excess GCE. Two theories quickly formed. One pointed to millisecond pulsars, ultra-dense, fast-spinning neutron stars that release gamma-ray beams as they rotate hundreds of times per second. If thousands of such pulsars were buried in the galactic bulge, their combined output could reproduce the observed glow. The other theory focused on dark matter annihilation. If dark matter particles, such as WIMPS, weakly interacting massive particles, collided and destroyed one another, they could produce bursts of gamma rays. Detecting this signal would provide the first indirect evidence of dark matter, a revolutionary breakthrough. For years, the glow's shape seemed to favor pulsars. The emission appeared boxy or peanut-like, matching the stellar bulge where pulsars would cluster. Dark matter, on the other hand, was thought to collect in smooth, spherical halos, making it inconsistent with the data. A team led by Mortis Muru at the Leibniz Institute decided to revisit that assumption. Using the HES-TIA simulation suite, high-resolution environment simulations of the immediate area, they created a digital twin of the Milky Way to trace how its structure evolved through mergers and gravitational interactions. The resulting model showed that dark matter halos aren't always spherical. Over billions of years, collisions and gravitational distortions can stretch them into box-like shapes, especially near the galactic center. When the researchers simulated gamma-ray emissions from this deformed dark matter halo, the pattern matched Fermi's observations just as well as pulsar models did. The implication? Morphology, once the decisive argument against dark matter, no longer rules it out. This study matters because the shape of the GCE has been one of the strongest pieces of evidence supporting the pulsar explanation. For over a decade, scientists argued that a box-shaped glow meant pulsars, while a spherical one meant dark matter. The new results challenge that binary thinking. Galaxies are not static systems. They evolve through mergers, collisions, and internal feedback. Gas inflows, star formation, and gravitational tides can all reshape both visible and invisible matter. The Hestia simulations demonstrate that even dark matter halos can be triaxial, reflecting the Milky Way's dynamic history, rather than a simple, symmetric model. That finding reframes how astronomers interpret the data. The real question is no longer what shape the emission has, but what physical processes produced it. The millisecond pulsar hypothesis remains plausible. Pulsars are confirmed gamma ray emitters, and the dense, dusty environment near the galactic center could easily conceal thousands of them. Detecting individual sources there, however, is extremely difficult. Radio and optical observations can't easily penetrate the chaos of that region. Meanwhile, the dark matter hypothesis gains renewed traction. If dark matter can form non-spherical halos and still produce the observed signal, it remains a viable explanation. Confirming it would revolutionize physics by linking cosmic structure formation with particle interactions. But such a claim demands consistency across other evidence, including constraints from the cosmic microwave background, galaxy cluster dynamics, and laboratory experiments searching for dark matter particles. Beyond the GCE, 
This study underscores the growing importance of realistic cosmological simulations. Traditional models assumed idealized, symmetric galaxies. Modern ones like HESTIA show how chaotic evolution can produce the irregular structures we observe. That complexity may explain not just the GCE, but also other anomalies in galactic behavior. In essence, the work doesn't prove either theory right. Instead, it shows that previous reasoning, excluding dark matter based on geometry, was too narrow. Both explanations now stand on equal footing. The puzzle remains, but the field has gained a more flexible framework for understanding the Milky Way's complex center. If dark matter annihilation can produce a box-shaped glow, the implications extend far beyond the Milky Way. It means morphology alone can't distinguish between ordinary and exotic physics, and researchers must look for new diagnostics. Energy spectra, time variations, or correlations with known stellar populations. For dark matter researchers, this finding reopens the possibility that indirect detection is within reach. The galactic center remains the most promising place to search, as it's dense with both visible matter and gravitational potential wells that could concentrate dark matter particles. Still, only future data can decide between pulsars and annihilation. That data will come from the Cherenkov Telescope Array CTA, scheduled to begin operations around 2028. CTA's sensitivity will surpass that of Fermi, resolving gamma-ray sources at much finer scales. If the excess breaks into numerous discrete points, pulsars will almost certainly be confirmed as the source. If the glow remains smooth and continuous, dark matter annihilation will once again take the lead. The results also reshape how scientists model galactic structure. A box-shaped dark matter halo could influence the orbits of stars and satellite galaxies, altering predictions for rotation curves and gravitational lensing. This realization might prompt astronomers to revisit other galaxies, showing similar asymmetries in their central regions. Importantly, the AIP study emphasizes that simulation is not confirmation. Models demonstrate what's possible, not what's true. The next steps involve cross-checking simulated predictions with multi-wavelength observations, from gamma rays to X-rays and infrared. Missions like ESA's Athena X-ray Observatory and NASA's upcoming Nancy Grace Roman Telescope could provide complementary data to test how mass and energy distribute in the galactic core. If future observations confirm dark matter annihilation, it would mark one of the greatest scientific milestones of the century. Direct insight into the substance that dominates the universe's mass. If the glow is ultimately traced to pulsars, that too would be profound, revealing a vast hidden population of neutron stars shaping our galaxy's energy output. Either way, the finding reminds us that galactic evolution is complex and clear-cut explanations are rare. The Milky Way's dark heart may reflect billions of years of interactions, not a single cause. The truth might even involve both pulsars and dark matter contributing to the same glow. The Milky Way's core might not be spherical after all. It could be box-shaped, reshaping the dark matter debate. This finding doesn't solve the mystery, but reopens it, putting dark matter and pulsars back on equal ground. As new telescopes come online, we may finally learn what truly powers our galaxy's glowing heart. <laughs>